Hello everyone, good morning. One of my YouTube subscribers talked about my categorization of my potential customers or potential users of particular pens and reminded me that um, people maybe shouldn't be pigeonholed as much as I was pigeonholing. Yes, any calligrapher could write with any pen, and any artist could draw with any pen, and any writer could write with any pen. Um, but there are certain pens that I have in my collection that are a little bit too this way or that way for a calligrapher. Generally speaking, calligraphers, especially calligraphers who are not beginning, that they know what they're doing, they will be able to use a pen that is very, very delicate. Um, and it's a pen, when I do find pens that are extremely delicate, um, I want to make sure that they go to someone who's not going to break them. Now, an artist who draws very, very delicately and only draws pushing down, pulling down, like I'm doing here, then they could use this pen. But most artists that I know sort of push and pull and are drawing and they're doing all sorts of stuff like this. So I know that that pen probably would not survive too long in their hands because they would either find it scratchy and unsatisfactory or it might break or tear the paper. So that kind of pen I will earmark toward a calligrapher and just a certain kind of calligrapher. You know, I'm not gonna... I want to make sure that the calligrapher won't break it. They really need to know how that's gonna work. Um, if I have a pen that has a very rounded nib on it, rounded point, and I know I'm dealing with a lefty who writes like this, I will earmark that kind of a pen to show them. Now these are great pens for a right-handed guy like me to, to draw with because I can push it in the wrong direction, but it is sort of the only pen, a pen like that, with that kind of nib that a lefty can use when writing with a hook. So, um, yes, anyone can use a pen like that, whether they're right-handed or left-handed, but I start showing left-handed people who write with a hook that nib. Um, I'm, I have a lot of pens that I'm trying to fix up and sell to people that will in turn take them and write beautiful things whether, or draw beautiful things, or do beautiful accounting, or whatever it is they do with their pen. Um, uh, so I'm, I am trying to make them go to the correct home. Um, now there are some people, like me, who am an artist, I'm a calligrapher, sometimes I really, really like fine, 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 fine accountant nibs, even though I don't account with them. I use them for certain kinds of drawing. So I know that there's overlaps. So really anyone that wants to buy a pen from me, I'm happy to sell it to them, regardless of what they say. But I would rather sell them a pen I know that they're going to be happy with, and that I know that they won't damage the, the pen. Sometimes pens come back to me and they say, well, it broke. Yeah, well, I told you it would. I told you it would break because I could see that you pressed down way too hard and I told you not to press down hard and you pressed down hard. So what do you, what, what did you fail to understand? So um, I don't want that to happen. So I try to try to match up the right pen with the right person. And if I, if, like with Todd, who I met in person, he was at my table at the pen show, and I saw him 
he wrote. I don't think he bought a pen from me, but he did see how I was selling them and how I was showing them <coughs> to me. And um, so if I am seeing someone across the table from me, I can really see exactly how they're holding their pen and how they draw and how they write. When I'm selling a pen over the interweb and I don't know the person that's in front of me, uh, or that's going to use the pen because they're not in front of me, I have to make some guesses. I ask people to send me examples of their writing or their drawing. I like take, have them take a picture of how they hold the pen. I do a number of things like this to try to get as much information as I can from them so I know that I'm sending them a pen that they will use safely and um, that they'll enjoy. And that use of the pen, having a pen in someone's hand, being filled with ink and drawing something or writing something really makes me happy. Having a pen that someone tries out and they think it's scratchy or they don't like it for some reason, they put it in their drawer and forget about it, that does not make me happy. Um, selling pens to collectors who just look at their pens doesn't really make me happy. Um, I'd rather have them in use. And collectors don't understand that. They think I'm crazy, but they can think I'm crazy. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. I think I'm crazy. So this pen here, if someone wanted to buy this pen, I would have to make sure that they would they would never press down too hard. It's a very fragile pen. And if someone is not mindful of how they write, they're going to press down going in the wrong direction and, and break it. So I just want to make sure that this pen, when it does leave my hands, it goes into the hands of someone who will use it well. The person who loves to press down on a pen, you'll like this pen. This pen you can, you know, I can use two hands and press down really hard and it's going to be fine because it's very, very firm and it's very strong. Uh, if I press down this hard using this pen, the, the nib would break. So I just want to make sure that if someone, you is used to this kind of pen and abuses pens in the way that this pen can be abused, I'm not going to sell them this pen. It's just not going to happen because they're going to break it. So it's just how I, how I work. Um, my, my best Advertising is when I sell a pen to someone that uses it and they use it and they tell their friends and their friends come back to me and or come to me and then buy a pen and it works really well. This is a beautiful nib on this one. This this would make a calligrapher happy, an artist happy. I think it would make a lefty happy, though the lefty probably never, ever, ever would make a line like that. The only, when you're, when you're writing with a hook, when a lefty writes, writes with a hook, 90% of the stroke he's making, the pen is going in the wrong direction. They're writing like this, and they're going in this direction. So if they underline something, they don't underline it like that. They, if they, if they underlined it like that, then they would make a thick line. If they crossed their T's like that, they would get a thick line. But that seems like an awful lot of potential for beautiful lines that is sort of wasted on someone that is a lefty that writes with a hook. If you're a lefty and you're a pusher, not a hooker, if you write like this, you can get the thick lines on any downstroke as you pull a pen toward your toward the bottom of the page. So lefties, the hook lefties are a little bit 
You know, if they learn, I would say learn Arabic. If a lefty learns Arabic, then you'll write from right to left, not left to right, and you'll, you, you'll be able to use this pen. That would be my advice. So, with that in mind, yes, Todd, Merrill, I know that <coughs> I do make generalizations, and there's the calligrapher, and the artist, and the writer, and there are, are some people that contain all aspects of all of these things. How does this work? But there's a lot of people that are just in this department. They're just calligraphers, and they want a certain kind of nib, whether it be a broad or a stub or a flexible point, and they'll, um, a pen for just this group part, this half of the calligraphy clump, um, I have pens that would fit in that category. And I've got pens that would fit here and, and pens that would fit down here that these people wouldn't like, that these people wouldn't like. But there are, you know, there are, there's this, this these many people would like these pens. So I, I do know that there's some overlap going on. Um, so this pen would fit all of these categories, except if you're left-handed, then this pen would be wasted on a left-handed that writes with a hook. So, there you go. Thank you for watching.